All right. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, Internet. I'm your host, Rhinosaurus Rex. Thank you so much for being here. I am joined, as always, by the wonderful and illustrious Beckatron herself. Hello, hello. We are joined uh, tonight for Fight Night in the Ring. No, it's uh, it's going to be a, a really casual, <laughs> easygoing, playing some video games, hanging out, talking about Web3 games. Uh, uh-huh. Joined by Justin and Pablo. If you guys, <clears throat> real quick, want to introduce yourselves, talk for like 30 seconds about yourselves, introduce yourselves, and then we'll do some housekeeping. Okay. Hi, I'm Justin. I'm uh, from Hacker Noon and from Benzinga as well. I write about GameFi and a lot of other things Web3. So I'm excited to see a functioning Web3 game tonight. Ooh, yes! Some fun things for. are afoot. Yeah. No pressure, no pressure. You know, at least this year there are more there are more projects with real games we can kick the tires on. So this is exciting. And it's very good to meet you, Pablo. Yeah, pleasure to meet you and, and happy to be on the show. Uh, really, really excited. Hello, everyone. Uh, hi to the Stratless community. If you're watching, uh, thank you for joining the, the stream. I, I, I know uh, if you're not uh, watching the stream, you, you might also be in one of the environments that we have going on. So yeah, happy to be here, man. Um, one of the co-founders and chief revenue officer at Automata, which is the lead developer of Stratless. Uh, amazing. Well, thank you both for coming on. We're very excited to have you. We're excited to dig in. Uh, but first, we have a few housekeeping notes. Um, first of which is tomorrow night, there is the Web3 Gamer Awards. So I know, Justin, we're looking at Star Atlas uh, just tonight. But tomorrow night, mm-hmm. you will get to see a whole slew of wonderful games that are being built in Web3. You can That's tune fantastic. in. Yes, I found out that I'm flying down tomorrow today. <laughs> so here we are. We nice. are going to be there. Traveling. Yeah, it's it'll be good. Worrying. I know, you know, my wife loved when I uh, told her today that I have to not be there tomorrow. So it was fantastic for our <laughs> weekly planning for the children and the family. Everything's going great. Um, <laughs> so uh, so that is happening tomorrow. I think that that will be really, really fun. Uh, the other thing that we want to uh, touch on is our wonderful sponsor, SX Bet. Um, so Re- Becca, when she hopped on, was so gracious. Uh, she wished me a very lovely happy birthday. And... When I was sitting around thinking about uh, the pat, it's, it's the big three five. All right, I'm showing my age here for the internet. Anyone can see 35 years old. It it got me reflecting. Right, it it made me think about you know this year, the only thing I got was daddy. I want more of your brownies. And so I was thinking maybe there were some times in my life where I'd gotten some better presents. And so I actually did some research and I said, hmm, what presents have I gotten in the history of my life that were better than what I just got this year, which was, you know, family love and kid happiness and what all that, you know, bullshit. But uh, what, (laughs) how do, how do the gifts that I got compare to the best gift of the year, uh, the year that that gift was happening. So I I did research and I will pull up. I'm going to share this screen real quick. This this tab of the top holiday gifts, and we are going to start all the way back in 1988 with troll dolls. Troll dolls was a wonderful gift of that year. And so what I what this what this whole system is about to be about is I am going to uh, go through and remind everyone some fun toys that happened from before. And then I am going to tell you what I probably got that year based on my age. So yeah. Troll Dolls 1988. I probably got something really cool because I was just born, like a gold-plated binky or something like that. So then there's 1989, the original release of the Game Boy, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I think I got a rocking horse. Uh, it's probably my best guess for what I got that year. The following year, 1990, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah. I, you know, I was thinking back, I probably got some really stupid stuff because I started talking at that point and having opinions and my opinions were very dumb up until probably last year. (laughs) So, uh, then the 1991 Super Nintendo, boom, count that one on the list. Definitely got that one, which is awesome. 
Uh, next up is the uh, Talk Boy from 1992. Ooh. I don't know if anyone remembers this, but yeah. I did not get one. And I remember sending my mom a sternly worded email that I did not get one. <laughs> it was. I wish I could have recorded it on the Talk Boy. Uh, the next You're making one me is want the... to go get some Lucky Charms or cinnamon know, toast right? Right? Yeah. You know, Saturday like... morning cartoons, waking up. Yeah, man, it's bringing it back. Um, 1993 Super Soaker. Uh, we ended up getting some for the beach that year. It was very nice. Um, the next one was 1994 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I didn't actually get a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, but to circle back, I did get a Mighty Morphin Ninja Turtle. It was very strange. It turned into a fire truck, but nah, what, it's not what a collab. I know. The next I, year, nineteen. Oh yeah, do you have a do you have a comment? I, I was just I, actually. I, I'm just like, what's crazy is whatever was big when you were a kid. Like like looking at that Super Nintendo as it goes goes by. I'm still yeah. like, oh man, look at that thing. It had a whole sixteen megs going on in there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, those cords were like super thick too you know i it's know like, they wouldn't broke. they wouldn't come out yeah it was awesome uh so 1995 beanie babies now uh let's just say don't get me started on beanie babies 1996 hey, tickle me emma i know like i said though for that year don't get me started on beanie babies uh and then it was 1997 the tamagotchi this one I've got, got one. i know uh, 1998 Furby again. Don't get me started on Beanie Babies. Uh, 1999 the Pokemon trading cards. Forget the Beanie Babies. Holographic Charizard all day and night. Here we go. Uh, that was really nice to get. Thank you, Mom. Uh, 2000 PlayStation. Got it. Check that one off the list. My parents really outdid themselves that year. Uh, then 2001. You had Raptors. a good life, man. I know, I yeah. know. So far, so good. So yeah, so 2001, Brat Stalls. I won't say that I didn't ask for Brat Stalls. If we all remember, 1998 or 1988 was when I was born. This is right in the 13-year-old range. Things started getting weird, you know, puberty, all that kind of stuff. All right, let's continue before I dig my hole any deeper. 2002, Beyblades. So now it gets a little weird because I'm growing out oh. of some of the stuff that are like the oh big toys gosh. of that year, right? So uh, yeah. this is the year in 2002 when uh nsync and backstreet boys are very big so this is the year for my uh birthday i asked for frosted tips um <laughs> right on the top of the hair uh it was it was a beautiful look 2003 <laughs> cranium hullabaloo i'd never even heard of this but this is the year i asked for dance dance revolution mats because that's how far i went uh the next year was the robo sapien i never had one of these either but it got a little weirder uh i asked for the uncensored version of the blink 182 album that year uh <laughs> then it's 2005 xbox 360 uh this is the year that i asked to be left alone from my parents then the wii came out in 2006 uh and this is when i asked this is i was about to go to college so uh i asked for my parents to chill the, the hell out uh and then in 2007 guitar hero came around uh and now this is my first year in college for everyone keeping a track so i asked for alcohol for my birthday uh for two in 2008 the wally toys were very big but i asked for uh alcohol at a pirate party that year for my birthday <laughs> the 2009 angry birds uh big year for angry birds then i asked for alcohol at an actual bar that year because i turned 21 in 2010 there was the ipad this time uh, i asked for alcohol at a uh, upscale pirate party because i'm a little swanky at that point i was just about to graduate i was feeling good about myself 2011 skylanders big toy of the year skylanders this time I moved back in with my parents, wasn't feeling very big of myself, so I just asked for alcohol outside of my parents' house. Big, there's a there's a bit of a trend here. Uh, then uh, 2012 felt really awesome. Leap Pad Explorer, that's when I moved to Thailand, finally met my wife, uh, and that's where I asked for a cheap Thai whiskey, different kind of alcohol. So let's just, you know, definitely not a trend, not a problem. I definitely don't have a problem. Uh, 2013 Techno Robotic Poppy, uh, this one, I asked for cheap Thai whiskey in a tall glass, because again, started feeling frisky. <laughs> 2014 Frozen Dolls. Okay, uh, this is when um, I asked for another year of no commitment. This was 2014. Uh, this is, as you know, I met my wife in Thailand. 
but she wasn't my wife at this point, so I didn't want any commitment. I was very scared. 2015, guess what I got? I got whatever the wife wants. So that first present really lasted a long time. 2016, uh, this was another great one. I just asked for a surprise party. Wasn't surprised. 2017, uh, I got a, I, bringing it full circle, I wanted to feel young again, so I asked for a, uh, uh, another pirate party with alcohol. Uh, 2018, I asked for not a, just one more year without kids. 2019, uh, I the Baby Shark official song puppet was what I got because we had a baby. 2020, uh, this is, uh, I just asked for sleep because that's all I wanted at that point. 2021, I got the reversible octopus plushie. We actually have one of these right now. They're pretty darn sweet. Uh, and then 2002, I just asked for, oh, there's no more 2002. Oh, no. What happened to 2002? Oh, I think I looked it up somewhere else. It was the Nintendo Switch was the best, most asked for gift that year. Uh, and that year, I got a sec second binky because we had our second child. And then in 2023, I just want some socks. I went full dad mode. And that's it. Aww. That is. Wait, but... isn't this the point where you say you want SX? So, but you're giving it away. But in a perfect world, if history didn't repeat itself, the one thing that I would ask for is SX.bet, the number one betting platform by both volume <laughs> and users <laughs> with over 225 million in, in uh, bets since its inception. You can bet on esports, sports. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. I'm not looking at the thing anymore, but you can totally bet on a lot of stuff. Go to SXBet. Uh, you'll love it. You'll enjoy it. They are fantastic. <laughs> you can earn SXBet tokens. And that would have been the perfect present this year, other than the, uh, you know, weird things that my children soon, take from me every day. Soon to bet on Dungeons and Dragons, potentially, as a new product. Dungeons and Dragons thing. Here, we'll do it all. I, I don't that's, remember that's what it happened, but I think socks are a fantastic gift, Brian. I, there's I there's actually, nothing ironic about that to me. I freaking love am, socks. Yeah. <laughs> Mom. I was, uh, are you talking no, like gold, the whole gold sock today? The gold yeah. tip type of socks or, <laughs> you know, toe. the new school, you know, uh, stitch or what's it called? Stitch? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, so, yeah. Many, so many varieties of socks. Yeah, right yeah. Right. yeah. You, you know, there I, are. I like how when you hit the kid part, though, everything everything just became pink and and like <laughs> aquamarine forevermore, and that is kind of what happened. I could do a similar chart about all the movies I've ever seen up oh, until yeah. 16 years ago, and then it's uh, Disney, Pixar, Disney, 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 <laughs> Pixar. forever. Yeah, it happens. Forever. It happens so quick. Um, well, that is fantastic, and thank you. I realize so. Uh, I realize that bit went way too long. Uh, so <laughs> next time I do that bit, I'm gonna cut out a few years in between there. But I figured uh, uh, all of the um, <laughs> all the stuff back there would be great. Um, the nostalgia, right. though, I really, I seriously appreciated going know, back in time. That made my oh, yeah. heart feel warm. It was a journey. Right, good. Yeah. It was, you know, it's uh, there's highs and lows. Right. Okay, uh, so why are we here today? We're gonna play some Star Atlas. So what I was thinking, I don't know. First, Pablo, set the stage to all those people out there who haven't heard of Star Atlas before. Set the stage. What are we about to dive into? You're talking to uh, another Dungeons and Dragons fan like myself and Justin who love lore and world building and context. So set the stage, if you will, before we dive in and start running around with some spaceships. Sure, yeah. The year's 2622, and we're in a peaceful period of time where three factions... Booster, Oni, and Mud were able to create a what we call the Council of Peace. And mm -hmm. at this at this stage, a lot of things have happened. Um, and so, Showroom, which is what we are demoing in the Epic Game Store at the moment, um, is sort of the beginning of you know setting the stage for a lot of uh, multi-season experiences that we have on our roadmap. We have about eight seasons in total and right now we are just at pre-season so season zero is the first uh season okay. uh that one's called alive and so what we're experiencing right now are releases one to four and we're only at release two so that's the um the the showroom volant studio environment that we have today it's a private beta um yeah it's really cool we, we we should just go in there and and start experiencing it for itself but <laughs> all right it's yeah closed beta. it's a closed beta right now and yes sir you have to, for token holders nft buyers um you know we started off passing the keys out to um 
our, our players and community members that were hyper engaged. Um, and we were able to know that um, by verifying the types of badges that they had yeah. in, um, in their wallets. Um, but really, you know, we're, we're giving these uh, keys out to a plethora of, of, of people. Um, so yeah, you, you know, we give them out uh, in different instances. We want as many people to kind of give us feedback and, you know, right now it's corralling a lot of bugs and, you know, different things like that, which, which is, tends to happen during these phases. We were talking uh, earlier, we saw the, the huge screen that, um, that, uh, oh, Solana yeah. has up of the, of the game and where's that in New yeah. York? Um, that's here in, in Miami, actually. Oh, it is? So it's, it's Miami Hack Week uh, currently. Oh, right. And so Solana has two embassies um, in the world. The first one was in New York, um, Solana Embassy. We're talking about Solana because that's where um, we're uh, sort of uh, building our, our infrastructure and platform. Um, and uh, yeah, and their second embassy is here in Miami. So um, a few of us are, are based in Miami. And uh, during the hack week, uh, Solana Spaces is, is what the embassies are called. Um, they're hosting a hacker house for developers to um, work on, um, on a bounty uh, that's uh, for gaming uh, applications. Um, so yeah, on Wednesday, I, yeah, so today's Monday, right? I don't even know what night it is. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. on, on, win on Wednesday, <laughs> we're doing a Monday. demo and a panel. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, so we were out there just testing it out. Nice. All right, let's put it up. So I won't lie, it looks beautiful when you start playing. So here it is, and you know what, SX Bet, I love you, uh, but we might have to move you in a second, depending on how the graphics go. But here we are. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna turn up the sound real quick um, to get that going uh, because it does sound wonderful. Not too loud. Let me know if I'm blowing out anyone's eardrums. Um, and it should a little be lower. A little lower, a little lower. Okay, no eardrums blown out tonight. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. There we go. Perfect. A nice, a nice, a nice twenty-five percent. That feels good. Okay, and then uh, uh, let's get into the flight trainer dogfight showroom. Dogfight oh, flight getting, trainer. Getting right, getting right into it, huh? Let's yeah. Go. I mean, let's do it. So, uh, starting off with a little dogfight. What do we think? Uh, Is we'll there a code? The uh, I don't know. Or we can have. There's also a race. Oh. Yeah, so there's 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 different experiences. One is you can walk around the showroom. Um, so we actually also built out an, an open source uh, foundation F kit, um, and essentially we built the first uh, Unreal Engine wallet that uh, sends and receives data between Solana and UE. Um, it's huh. open source, so any any developers out there that that would love to use it. We can send you uh, that that information. You can actually find it on build star build .staratlas .com. Um, mm. And so, in this environment, so you can go to showroom. You can do these dog fights and races. Um, there are ships that you can hop on, like you're seeing right now. The character is based um, is a is a human race from the Mud Faction. Um, so yeah, my fuel is very low. I'm a little worried. Wait, whoa, whoa. whoa. No, no, I'm you gotta turn around. That. Turn around. Turning around. Have turning you not around. played this yet? Yeah, yeah, there you, no. go. there you go. This is this is me just uh, Oh, this is awesome. Uh, oh, this is, me, it's this is my so first fun. time playing this. Alright, and uh it's and then it, turn I know it looks a little laggy on the ah! Who's shooting oh, at me? How do I turn around no, faster? No, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. My uh oh, my mouse my mouse is not lined up the right way. Oh my goodness. I told How you. do I get out of here? I, that's why that's why I was lifting up my mouse. I was like lifting up. I gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta turn up the the sensitivity of my mouse about Seventy thousand yeah. percent. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see someone. I'm going for it. Yeah, this is really cool. Whoa. Oh, cool. Yeah. So we're we're flying around in space right now. I know it seems a little laggy on Streamyard, so I'm trying to figure that out. Number one, maybe I'll share just my OBS screen here in a second. But it is well, other than dying, it is uh, incredibly yeah. smooth on my computer, uh, and it's it looks beautiful. fantastic. It's literally, Pablo yeah. is beautiful. Like yeah, on the. the Graphics, yeah, so we're, the... we're four, four co-founders, and uh, Danny Floyd um, is our CPO. Um, he undoubtedly has um, just such an amazing experience and, and approach to his craft um, and being able to envision this all up in his brain and, and be able to deploy a really world-class team to actually build this. 
Um, so, you know, we're, we're, we're a triple A studio. Um, we started off with UE5. Uh, we're sort of porting a lot of this, uh, if not all of it, to 5.1. Um, oh, wow. And yeah, everything's, that, you know, from I'm, scratch. Yeah, I'm curious from like a development standpoint, because I have no idea. As I still assume that uh, coding video games just means like putting polygons uh, on, a, on a map. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> sure. like going from 5 to 5.1, like what's that? Yeah. look like from a everything just, breaks right pablo yeah <laughs> yeah absolutely, <laughs> absolutely and just like getting just getting it to to this like you know people people don't understand um you know how movies are made and and actually video games are actually it's a production it's a full-on production and, and it's like making a movie um wow. and when it's this cool. caliber and so you know the ship that you're looking at that's the pure sex four that was actually the second ship that we dropped in the marketplace. Um, and, you know, it, th this ship, the origination price wow. was $15. It's a lot cheaper now. Um, but, you know, what, what, what's amazing is that uh, the, the individual, the user, when they first saw this, it was just a JPEG, right? Which are what <laughs> yeah. most NFTs are in Web3. Um, right. and, and no one really understood um, that this was actually going to be developed into a 3d ue5 model um so it's a it's a I'm beautiful doing terrible piece of by the way craft <laughs> hopefully we'll be able to make it in real life at some point in the future you know it's yes. really sick. What, yeah. when he's out there in space what, what what fps is it running at uh pablo sorry what what fps is it running at are you are you you at 60 fps on those graphics when he's getting out there into the minefield i i couldn't i couldn't answer that I would make yeah. myself look it might just be, it, it might just be my computer not graphic. being very great as well. Um, yeah, so it has. So I yeah, turned I it down to exactly low as is. possible just to make sure that my computer didn't uh, burn up into a crisp. But you can set you... some really amazing graphic. Uh, cinematic, cinematic yeah, level. way to go. Yeah. yeah. All right, here, I'm going to start with Epic just to make sure we don't shut down my computer in the middle of the stream. But uh, we'll see how that goes real quick. Uh, save this. And then maybe that will open up the showroom for me. I want to get into the showroom. How do I get yeah. into the showroom? Try clicking oh. around. It's a little there buggy. There we go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's. Uh, I'm going to host yeah, this yeah, session. Yeah, join. Hey, yeah, yeah, to join. the people Hold that are there. out there paying attention to this, uh, you feel free. Hey, we got some people in the chat now. Greetings from Rome. Yeah. Yo. Oh, nice. That's uh, right. Allo from Chimera Rome. family. There we go. Good day from <laughs> Australia. Ooh, down under. Uh, throw some Hello, shrimp Sir on the for me. Uh, here so we go. Shout we'll out to a... the community at Star Atlas. Uh, amazing yes, people, sure. individuals from all over the world. Um, for those of you that have been around since the beginning or just joined us, you know, man, love you. Much love. Much love yeah. to everyone out there. All right. I'm making this public. Open. You will be. You will have your little avatar on the internet. Feel this is your one fifteen minutes that we will give you. Um, so you know, take advantage of it now because you may not get another opportunity. Uh, but let's see. Uh, once this Wait, loads up. Wait, where? What's your code? Did you do a session? I don't know. Let me no? figure it out. Oh my gosh, I'm also not recording this on the Streamyard. Ah, oh, hitting record oh. now, guys. Guys, I'm sorry. First, you know, technical awesomeness. But at least the internet can see what we're doing. That's the most important part, right? Um, <laughs> All I care about is the internet. Um, but thanks for jumping in here. Hi, everyone. Hi, thanks for jumping in. Here, let me see if I can... Uh, I wish I could... I love, the, wait, uh... Ryan, too, like, when Go. you get a chance. So I have a different character, Pablo. Ooh, I think it's a woman with a helmet on. Yeah. But yeah, I'm looking layer. at the, I'm looking at the, like, equip section, which... Mm -hmm which Ryan, I would highly suggest going to so mm. we can show everyone on the stream Hell yeah. um, because they're, you can obviously customize avatar, but it just looks so beautiful. Like I'm very appreciative towards the character design and the lighting, wow. like the lighting is done really well. So it just is like a dream. Like it literally is, you know, of the quality of the games that I expect that I want to play in 2023. Oh, um, yeah. I, that's, so that, that, awesome. that's awesome to hear and, and thank you so much for those kind words you know the artists and and the visionaries that are producing this um you know they they love to hear that that type of feedback because they put in so many hours and so much dedication goes into it um you know what's what's really amazing is just this concept of what does identity feel like uh when playing games uh, and, and and i think that as we yeah have more more web3 games that um, come to life 
our sense of, of reality and, and our sense of uh, just expressing ourselves through digital assets is, is going to explode. You know, it's going to be really, really fun because you can, you could be an alien in, in, in Star Atlas. Uh, and if you want to be a monkey in other world, you can do that. Right. Um, and the sense of ownership and personalization is, is sort of like moving into this next step from, from where we've seen it exist for the past, you know, 10, 20, 30 years. Yeah. Justin, how do you feel about all of this? I'm like, I'm, I, so yeah, yeah, Justin yeah. and I kind of, we're going to take off the, here. we're going to take off the leash at some point. All right. So don't worry. We'll, well, we'll, well I want to get, I, I, think, get I think it looks great. Seriously. Yeah. I, I, I have questions. I know it's basically running as like, is it running essentially as thank you. I'm, I'm getting water. Is it running <laughs> as a, a single player game or uh, how many people in an instance do you have? Pop? Yeah. Yeah. Right now it's maxed out at 15. Okay. Um, but you know we're we're working by the high, behind the scenes with the right technology partners to scale this. Right. All right. Okay. Yeah, I, I, didn't... I mean that that can be a challenge in terms of the load. Uh, that and I always think that that's what uh, you know prevented blockchain games at least in the beginning from uh, from being able to do something deliver something that has these kinds of graphics. I, I think the, the 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 blink test to be is not whether it is although it, it is a great looking game by the way. But like, it's not even about whether it's a great looking game. Actually, I'm just glad to see a game that like looks like, you know, looks looks like it look, looks like a game that can compete in the same category with mainstream AAA games. It's great to see. It looks really awesome. Thank you, man. Uh, that's that's a uh, humbling. You know, it it, it feels yeah. good. But more, more importantly, like the the team that that is working on on building this again, I I can't give enough kudos to them um, on, on the hard work that they're really pulling up. This is a huge feat, you know, it's not, not every team out there wants to take on this challenge. Um, but, uh, you know, we only got one life to live, so why not just go for it? Go Are for you going to have character customization? Uh, wait, what, what so wait, wait, Absolutely. Ryan, go back. I'm yeah, actually, to, so you can I, see. I yeah. was trying to, well, I was showing off, yeah, I was showing off the characters a little bit, but um, I am trying to make a private room so people can jump in, but I cannot figure out where this code is that I need to find. Um, which is the only thing I'm focused on right now, but uh, we can show off the characters for sure. Well, yeah, actually, like... so I mean, we're in a private session right now. If you go back to the showroom, it's you, me, and then Falco Rome. Oh, no shit. Where in the public one? Yeah, if you go back to yeah, because it, it has like a find your friend feature. Because I guess we yeah. must be using like the same. Yeah, yeah people could find you, Becca. All right, look at that. All right, there you go. All right. Um... All right. Hey, everyone. Cheers from California. Where is the room? Is it full? I don't think so. Uh, DEJ, I don't think it's full. Hey, everyone. I'll spawn you a med tech. Ooh, hoo, hoo, Falcor. Thank you. Uh, well, yeah, there, there are, there are spaces that, um, that everyone can take a look at and fly around. But some of the, the you can hear the community sort of chime in there. Um, they're, they're able to connect their wallets. Um, hopefully oh, they'll, they'll be able to jump in. But in regards yeah. to the character customization, um, definitely. You know, we, we've only sort of started to release um, some optionality there, but um, you'll be able to see in, in showroom, we can maybe take a tour uh, of the lore as well, and you can kind of meet more of our uh, characters. Um, we have different species and all different types of, uh, you know, aliens and, and humanoids and androids, um, animals, cats, you know, all different types of, uh, beings that mm -hmm. are, are going to come to life and all of them, you know, will be uh, uh, customizable. That's on, on from a studio production side. Um, we believe in a lot of uh, user generated content. So our guilds um, will be able to create their own content and, and spawn it here as well. That's mm -hmm. the sort of the, the ultimate vision there is to allow for them to, um, you know, realize their, their own uh, curiosities and you know, skill sets that, that they might want to add to, to the game and to the platform. The first zone has this big open field. How big is it, Pablo? First zone? Yeah, the, fir the first zone, the first uh, playing area. The, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so um, if, if I had another, another image, I could sort of like bring some more context to the Volant studio. But this studio, this plot of land, is actually the beginning of the uh, sort of community and the factions building a warp gate. So that's mm -hmm. that's the whole purpose of this one little building 
Yeah, I'm loving this lore. Um, built, the, the whole point of it is to build a gigantic warp gate. This warp gate will allow for the game to sort of, you know, mm-hmm. get right. So it's this sort of like crafting and community building um, that we're going for. Um, but that one little building right now, um, and the plot of land is sort of just super, super tiny compared to the gigantic buildings that are going to be built there. Ryan, go ahead, and if you go to customize, you can see some of the different. Go to the bottom. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, yeah, and then you can see yeah. you can just see some of like the the light customizations as far as clothing. I just love it. I, mean, I love Unreal Engine for for like lighting, like the I don't know the textiles Ooh. and the textures are great. I'm, but I'm I would definitely just... suggest <laughs> I would go into just go into Solo Showroom. That's where I'm at right now. All right, um, and I think that you can just show people like a little bit more, especially just in like the like the expanse that kind of Pablo's referring to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me let me find a good color for my outfit real quick. Come on, jeez. Seasonal. Uh, this one actually. Ooh, it, you know, a nice time. So are these are these at no charge, Pablo, or is there is there a fee for customization like this at this time? Uh, no, no. This is there's no charge. It's just playing. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, just getting in there and getting it. it. There we go. Showroom. Should I join the? No, uh, no, no. Just solo. Just do solo. Solo. Just the first one. Make it easy. All right. Yeah. yeah. Make it uh-huh. easy. All right, friends. Sorry, you won't get your 15 minutes of fame, Internet. I know you're out there waiting to break down your door. This is the moment you're going to make it. The agents were going to call you, and you're going to be on the big screen. But uh, not today. <laughs> Becca says no. <laughs> sorry, no. DEJ. DEJ. I says, like that oh. door, though. I like that door. We, is that, or is that a window? That It's a. Well, it's gone now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll show you. I'll, I'll guide us. I'll guide us to, who to is, this area. Who is, who is Pierce as well? Yeah. So uh, that's a great question. Yeah. So we have over nine manufacturers, and that's one of a manu- uh, a ship manufacturer. So Pierce, okay. Calico, Rainbow. Um, you know, there's there's just a, a plethora of different manufacturers that we have. So you know, like BMW, Mercedes, that sort of. Thing. Sorry, I'm, I'm lagging a little. And then, so, Going around the the palette of of inspiration here. We talked a lot about Star Trek. We talked a lot about almost like uh, Fifth Element um, mm. in, in regards to the movies, and and you know these textures, um, the pop culture, uh, even like the the balance of of metals and wood and this type of stuff. It all kind of came from these really big titles uh, mm. or, or IP. Um, so. Yeah, I, I think you'll see more of that um, in the ships that we have in here. There's w- one of my favorite ships is a Thimble Lobby, and it mm. looks like a Cadillac, like something Snoop Dogg would be driving <laughs> if he had a ship in 500 years from today. Um, mm-hmm. We have some other models that are like just crazy, never before seen in the space genre game. And it's because we're taking this approach of just kind of like very having fun with the funk. Of mm-hmm. and not making it so cold and, you know. Yeah, it, I can it, see that. Yeah, you, you can totally see that. Honestly, with the uh, with the rail car behind you, you can even kind of see that. Like I keep yeah. getting hints of like uh, of like a little bit of steampunk, just like a little bit. You got brown yeah. in there and stuff, which is good to break up all the silver, all the futuristic, you know. Mm-hmm. Which is a cool vibe too. But I do like how you can find it. Yeah. So if you keep on running forward, um, there are these black panels on the right if you slow Ooh. down you can go to one of them ah, yeah. interact. Press F. here we go yeah. so um when we first started we went launched it was in 2021 and let's if you can scroll down these are posters um that we launched as really as a marketing campaign to begin telling this lore the story of lore if you keep on going down keep on going down um, there's one i think this one is, I want to I find. Think... is that it 
Mm-hmm. This. Okay, so let's let's go up real quick, or just choose any of them. Um, it, oh yeah, yeah, it's up on the right corner. Oh, on the right here corner. we go. Right there, that one, right. Wow. So, so this right here is is um is Iris, and and so like that's where our sort of lore begins. Um, all factions, um, that ended up you know creating their planetary, uh, uh society and in, in, in the galaxy. They were. Um, you know, looking to enhance their their civilizations, and they needed specific minerals to do so. And so, the planet of Iris is is, is this uh, planet that has the most rich and rare minerals in the entire galaxy. And so, when this was discovered, uh, you know that natural innate sort of greed uh, factor uh, came about, and that is what started a war called the, the Convergence classic... War. The classic greed thing that comes about when people are doing their thing out there finding a yeah. bunch of rich stuff in space and it leads to the coolest stories that exist <laughs> from all time i love I, I mean like i love greed as a concept in storytelling so this is this is fantastic <laughs> i also what love is this greed. pirates I mean, and greed you love I know, pirates i know i just love doing alcohol you know that old alcohol thing um that's awesome yeah so we we launched these these posters and each poster told the story right and that's how we communicated with our with our that's how we found found our community members right like our early adopters are like yeah we like this right like we we want to we want to see more of this and when we started experiencing uh hyper attraction um and engagement we kept on going and we haven't stopped you know looking back and so in this instance you can go and, and sort of view we'll all the posters that, that, right that people bought yeah there we, we go. did right. um we added like ar to each of the posters we collaborated with um dead mouse uh blondish uh, a bunch of different music artists that created custom uh, soundscapes with posters and so that's, we called them meta posters it was yeah it, it was called uh rebirth the genesis of a metaverse um mm-hmm. this this generated uh, our first wave of uh, bootstrapping, uh, uh, you know, uh, revenue for for sales mm-hmm. for the for the company. You, for you the, did yeah. NFT runs of these, or, or how, yeah. did, how was the bootstrapping? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. NFT seem to work out well as, as fundraisers. It's 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 a I good know. thing. I've seen some good work done that way. You know, I, I think it... if you're opening up a lemonade shop and you don't have to have mm-hmm. ask the bank for a loan, and you could just you know bootstrap from the sales mm-hmm. that you generate of all the people you know? that love lemonade they're like please yeah. like i want this lemonade and, stand and, and it doesn't have to be about wanting your nft to 100 times you know it, it's uh it's just this is a way of the community supporting the project and getting something for it and you know I and mean, that's pretty cool yeah yeah so yeah, there, like a, this, this experience here yeah. th- this experience thing here is is sort of um uh, you know the, the the type of interaction right that that we have right now. Uh, yeah, that's a cool wall. I think I'm doing oh, a cool. great job. Uh, uh, being <laughs> if you keep on going down, in the, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Let's keep going. Let's it, keep man. going. Show it. me around. Show me around. Yeah, yeah. So um, th- you huge. have bonsais on the left and the right, which are pretty Ooh. cool. I spent about two hours, like no no joke. I spent two hours <laughs> in the bonsai park, like <laughs> literally taking pictures of my of, of my avatar of my character um because you can go to photo <laughs> mode so I'll, I'll show you how to do it after you pop out all of right, here all right. here so we'll, pop, we'll put solana because i know the solana conference is going on right now so there we go Let's look pop out, right? wow look at those uh bonsai okay so, we photo mode e. yeah no no just there press we. yep you can do Ooh. that too all right yeah wow oh so man you can walk around walk away you can look at your character you can adjust um. you know the the camera setting, lens setting. Zoom in. It's really fun. I, I, I spent a lot of time. And I was talking to uh, one of my, uh, the, the, our lead community uh, member, Santi. And I was like, Santi, um, man, what what if we just like unlock a photography career, you know, uh, <laughs> in, in, in showroom, right? Like, and just let people uh, be curious about, about photography. Uh, are there any digital photographers wow. that are just taking pictures inside of games? And then minting Maybe. them as art, right. you know. Wow. Like, is that happening right now? If it's not, let's get going. You know, let's do it. Um, th- this is the type of stuff, you know, fun that that we're having. And yeah, I mean, 
I don't know. I spent a lot of time in there. I, yeah, I love that you bring up this point because I think that that's something that Justin might find interesting about the concept of kind of almost like in an idealized sense, right? People working real jobs inside of Star Atlas that, that continue to, to maintain the community, right? And like evolve, evolve Star Atlas, right? And like, yeah. it's, you know, where it goes, like you kind of alluded to like the manufacturers um, or like one of the, uh, one of the companies kind of like building things inside of Star Atlas. So maybe talk a little bit about that, Justin. I don't know if you're curious, but I, th I find no, it yeah, fascinating. Absolutely. So you've got like an interact, uh, what engage to earn mechanic in your community built around your DAO. So I, I can be, uh, you know, space governor or something, have uh, <laughs> have my votes carried over into the DAO itself, tokenized yeah. votes. Yeah. Is that how yeah. that's working? Yes, yeah. It, it, and I want to show, well, you can continue exploring. There's a bar to the oh, left, yeah. too. There's a, you go, uh, well, yeah, you can make yourself some drinks. Um, I can yeah, make myself so we, some we drinks over here. Oh, uh, and Ryan cool. loves that. I know. We, we, we do, do you have, you know uh, anything about my life. Uh, yeah, but you might you might find some Thai whiskey there. Who, who knows? <laughs> do you um, have a DAO functioning it? now, Pablo? Do, do you have a DAO? Yeah. Have they made any yeah. yet? Have you have you done any votes? Yeah. So we're we're about to mm. uh, about to launch that feature. Um, we've been working really dil diligently. You know, it's it's tough in Web three when like you we uh, our our amazing engineers, and I, I say amazing because they are. Um, but you might hear my voice. I'm not, I'm not trying to be sarcastic. It's just, you know, when you're really smart, you always try to just do it yourself, right? And, mm -hmm. and try to build it yourself. And so um, a lot of times what we're building, a lot of the picks and shovels just don't exist, so cool. right? And, and when it comes to building the infrastructure for DAOs to actually function correctly the way they should, the way right. we believe they should. And so things like voting and how, you know, the UX or the UI tied to an actual on-chain program you know there's parts of us we want to do it ourselves well you know some other people are like hey those programs already exist why don't we just leverage that and so it takes time to really Download. find a good balance to it we're yeah. we're going to uh release that feature soon so that we can uh, mm -hmm. activate the voting and engagement part of the oh. DAO. but we do have a DAO platform uh you can go to govern.staratlas.com um, and that's where uh, people are are staking, you know, their their uh, Atlas and Polis. On mm -hmm. and, and Atlas is our in-game currency. Polis is the governance token. Um, mm -hmm. And and really, that po Polis is is interesting because the factions are going to be able to really um, create tax systems within their factions for the trade of goods, as an example. Mm -hmm. um, then there will be able, you know, the guilds themselves will also be able to kind of create these, you know, permitting or taxation. And so the model is just going to be also user generated, you know, um, and the, the DAO will be able to vote upon that. Um, mm -hmm. There's a council, you know, of, of authoritative uh, uh, members of, of the DAO that's, uh, you know, run by, by the community that that's going to come online as well. Um, Are we just making we, Eve online, but like super amazing graphics and on the blockchain? Is that what's happening right now? <laughs> you know, Eve, Eve online like. has, like. has an amazing economy, <laughs> you know, in, uh, sort of environment. It, it, it's 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 world renowned, right? Like their economy, right, 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 right. It's really right. interesting the way that it also sort of bleeds over into the real world, and um, you know, we we definitely take a note of of their of their economy. For sure. Is, it, is um, there fall damage in this yet? Can I jump? Can I try and make this jump? <laughs> yep. No, I Space jump. Bar. You can jump. You're good. Um, Space no, just no want to make sure damage. before. No fall damage yet. All right, good. Yeah, I got the god. Away. I got god mode turned on. All right, perfect. <laughs> Boom. Uh, that felt good. Yeah. yeah, this is pretty sweet. Yeah, those are the faction leaders there too. Um, yeah, oh, even cool. these structures are beautiful. Like they're yeah, they're amazing. And this is only this isn't on cinematic graphics, so apologies everyone who's watching this. And the the bit rate, I know the bit rate on Streamyard is terrible. I am working on the a solution. Don't worry, everyone. But it looks flawless on this uh, gaming laptop. That's not even a real uh, uh, a it's gaming really computer. So. The attention yeah. to detail is really good too. Uh, I, mm -hmm. I really like that. You know, I imagine that you're using a like when we say it's on blockchain, anything related to tokenomics is on blockchain. Uh, anything that needs a ledger like that everything else you're probably using aws for the hosting right now 
So when I started researching on-chain game design, I couldn't find one dissertation or one PhD working on that. If you <laughs> if you Google That's PDF wild. colon game design, you're going to find mm. t like tons of 300 page dissertations around game design. There's mm. not <laughs> one around on-chain game design. Right. We're building that. Um, we believe that the future of gaming, especially Web3 gaming, uh, is has has a good amount of game design that is on chain so mm -hmm. our approach is, is not about uh minting characters and minting ships and having tokens um and calling that a blockchain game um we, we we're building the infrastructure for a decentralized uh, uh, uh on-chain game design so mm -hmm. what, what do I mean by that and where we are today? Because today matters, right? Um, not just what's on our white paper. Uh, yeah. We've we've launched uh, uh, a few on-chain programs um, and our guild members, which are amazing, they're actually building programs that are connecting to the programs that we built and providing huh. services that are that have a better UX and UI than the ones we've provided in our marketplace or in our oh. mini game called score uh, oh. and they're benefiting from that right like they're growing their guilds to the thousands by having these types of programs yeah that's crazy um and they're not asking us this, for permission is right? this the Snoop Dogg Cadillac by the way just want to yeah, make that sure is the okay cool, yeah, cool, cool. That, that is, is the cool. model. <laughs> yeah, it is so, it, it is awesome. yeah that thing is yeah. really cool yeah, I, like yeah. That. I am a big fan oh yeah. man <laughs> It's very, very cool. Um, uh, sorry, if you go to cut out, you off, but... if you go outside, if you go outside to the uh, yeah, when you when you're done here, you can go outside to the uh, yeah. to the, one of the launch pads uh, on Ooh. your left. So if you go downstairs, you can open up yeah. that big garage door, and then oh, go outside, and you can okay. actually spawn a couple of ships. Um, Yo, I can spawn really ships. Big, oh, really big, really big ones. Yeah, Where yeah, yeah. This? How big Where is this? Team? Do you, do you so, have a lot of yeah. work on this game? There's, there's a lot of attention to detail in the environment. Absolutely. So we were four co-founders when we first started, and today um, we're you know hovering around 200 globally, um, over 18 countries. So it's on the oh, other nice. side. Sorry, right? Oh, other side. My yep. other left. You know, this yeah. my my parents were too busy getting me PlayStation twos instead of teaching me my rights and my left. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. Uh, but I get to go by yeah, some beautiful bonsai most, trees. Most of the team is made up of the art and production and engineer. So um, we have the second largest engineering core team on Solana, aside from, you know, the, the core Solana devs. And, and so you'll actually be serving when, when somebody, uh, you know, logs in, you're actually going to be serving this from Solana blockchain. Uh, what, yeah, what do you mean? Sorry. Well, you, you said that you wanted to uh, you wanted to keep it on chain and, and in, yeah. in terms of the serving, or are you just talking about in terms of the development? I I don't know what you mean by serving. Sorry. In, in terms of when I'm actually making a, a data call for these graphics, where where it's actually where mm. it's actually coming from. Sure, sure. The, well, the graphics are aren't on chain. The mm. the game mechanism and, and and game loops are. So for okay. example, so yeah, if you take a sharp left, I'm there's going to be left. another. Yeah, there's gonna be like another this little monitor that you go up to. It's left, cool. Left, yeah. left. Take another yeah. left. Left, left monitor that I'm going up to. This little thing? Yeah, like right there. Yep. Hey, right there. all right. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's find some. <laughs> um, so, this is, so for I'm example, like, I'm just, I haven't been talking a lot because I've been like absolutely blown away by how amazing and beautiful and just like let, idyllic let's here for and a second. scenic cool. this is. So yeah. a quick second. So here you have ship pad, which you're gonna click on there in just a second. You have teleportation, right. which will take you a different place on, on the map. And then you have marketplace. Oh, That's coming know. soon. The marketplace, um, if you go to if you go to play.staralis.com, that's where our marketplace currently is, right? All of the, that's where mm -hmm. our minting happens, our ship on chain, everything there. But we're gonna bring that into here, right? No so the of. first step is to bring in our marketplace into into UE. Um, so that's our sort of starting point. In addition, and as our game development uh, un unravels in UE5 it's going to take a long time right for, for all this to come to fruition so yeah. um we're we're we've been in development to build an in browser um so that we can activate the economy and mm. that in browser title is called stage and um that's where we have at least 
12 on-chain programs that are that have already been built. We're working wow. on the front UX UI uh, for that game. And a lot of that game is based on really testing out print, like movement of ships on a map, which is difficult to do um, on, on chain. And so that, you know, you can have this uh, persistent high def, you know, definition experience while stuff is happening on chain. So there's a middle layer there that we've mm -hmm. also developed that needs to exist that didn't exist prior to us having the need right. for it. So right. we're also, you know, just like um, Light and Magic, um, ha you know, they uh, Photoshop came out of that, mm -hmm. out, out of making mm -hmm. movies, right? Mm -hmm. um, new cameras came out of making movies with George Lucas. Um, new type of technology is coming out of us having the need for this type of stuff. Right. Um, so crazy. there's one called the Floyd Liner. If you go all the way up, Floyd so all of these Liner. ships are being, you know, being built right now. Uh, in, in for ue5 floyd line aerospace yeah one? right there this one yeah all yep right. set ship that's right all right let's check this thing out oh yeah, wow this cool. thing is i'm huge. doing it on my end too <laughs> that is so cool yeah yes yeah, so you can you can go up towards the back of it and then you'll have an interaction there you can get in and fly it <laughs> oh. <laughs> but shut your face this is awesome <laughs> <laughs> shut your face <laughs> Yeah. Like, said, like a true dad. I know. Uh, oh, yeah. wow. It's... I mean. Yeah. You can get yeah, in through okay. the other side. It's really sick. No. The side. These okay. things, wow, that's awesome. Look at that. Yeah, these things. Oh, man, can I, when is the VR uh, version of this coming? And I can just fly around. I know. I know. Like, I know, Pablo, you mentioned, this. like, put, porting it over to VR. Yeah, yeah. So Un Unreal, Unreal Engine makes it. Uh, I don't want to say easy, but you know, it, it, it allows for <laughs> a lot of play to happen. And so we're already messing around with, with virtual reality in our skunk horse lab. Um, we Ooh. released a video of it. You can find it on our YouTube page, um, oh, our Star Atlas YouTube page. It's really Is cool. It over here? Uh, uh -huh. okay. So go forward. Go you forward. have to click F. I'm go, trying to and yeah, like go the forward, door will come go down. forward, go forward. Oh, oh, over yeah. here. Okay. Yeah. Where the power is going. There you go, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Yep. F, 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 Just walk F, F, forward. Mash. No, 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 you'll, you'll, it'll pop yep, up. Yep, you're good, you're good. Keep on going. Mm -hmm. It'll, it'll come going. up. No, keep yeah, going. just keep on going. There straight. it is. Ooh. There you yeah. go. Okay. Also, uh, Ali Oop, thank you. Uh, ooh, ooh. The Ali Oop said, love my face, because I'm just sitting here like fanboying, like, oh. <laughs> 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 All right. What am I interacting with here? Are these missiles? But, oh. If you keep go to the right. Oh, that's just closing the door. Not as cool, oh, but yeah, that's okay. Oh. Yeah, right there. Press F. We got a little Whoa. elevator. Elevator. Yeah. yeah, are these like escape pods? What is this? is so cool. All right. Yeah. I feel like I'm in an escape room, but like in look, like Look a... up at this guy on this wall thing. It's like this inside of a... It's like this, I don't know, vir virtual space. It's really wild. Yeah, dude. This is awesome. This is all so cool. Yeah. All right. It is really uh, cool. Yeah, so go that yeah. way. There's a little door on the left there. A little you can door. go in. Oh, it's, it's like a real spaceship. <laughs> the yeah. play right now. You can hop in. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. Whoa. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't give me this power. Oh, oh my goodness. This is so this is, cool. This is so dope. I'm literally doing so it on my end too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa. Yeah, do you have ship -ship combat right now? Do you have ship -to ship combat, Pablo? Uh, not uh, P2P now right now, but it's coming. It's coming soon. Ooh, it's coming soon. Wall. That will be in our in our oh, I, in our I next release. As far as I can, yeah. right. Um, so, like, I I just want people to to under like remember that the the beauty about this is just like the 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 providence of. Of, of this digital oh, asset, shit. like this is the first time you're taking flight with this ship, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. if, if this, this was is yours so and you cool. had ownership of it, you played Star Atlas for five years. Well, what happens with that whole experience that you had with the ship? All that's going to be on chain, right? Like, if you want to pass this on to your kid to let them keep on playing and and they get to see like the different things that you did and and all all of the XP that you built for your character and for your ship, like. All that's going to be there. Um, I think it's wild. I think it's awesome. Okay. All right, my son would uh, not would be angry at me if I didn't ask. What's the button for the turbo boosters? 
because uh, that might be the most important thing that he yeah. cares about. Try Is there shift. a turbo booster yeah, yeah. button? Try shift, shift. yeah. Shift, shift, shift. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and you'll see your gauge on the right turn red. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Ah, that's the problem is I'm overusing the boosters. It can only fly so yeah. fast for so long. All right, that's what's going on. And you can do some rolls, do too. With I know, R. I was trying to do some barrel rolls. Ooh. Barrel roll. There we go. Uh, R. Ooh. Yo, this is kind of crazy. I need to practice a lot more. I'm showing that I'm not a great space pilot. So, uh, the, you know, the, the classic uh, arcade, what, what's the Star Heroes uh, movie where they, like, uh, pick that kid up back in the, the 80s when he, after he, like, beats this arcade game and he turns into a fighter pilot? That is not going to be me. Uh, well, you, know, well, you and I can start the, the flight. Flight Cadet Academy. If, okay, uh, if there's a community it. member on the stream, if you want to drop that link, someone in the community <laughs> created a whole like tutorial to be a like a flight uh, a cadet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to take yeah. it too. So, did, did you have to develop or use any secondary uh, like uh, physics engines for the actual space flight? Because there's so many things go around that. Uh, I mean, yeah, like, I mean, we have we have like X. You know military and stuff on on in the team that's like working with the physics and stuff um yeah, it, it's crazy it's the whole department um I, I just know that it took a long time to get it right i think ryan would definitely yeah. crash right now i know i know <laughs> I, I luckily they have a hover mode built in so like i don't have to sit around right. actively piloting it. but i was just like i'm just trying to look at like this is this is a awesome this is so cool really? <laughs> i'm like i am so stoked uh, and I know but what I think is, up. Oh, well, part. one thing I want to Go say really next. fast is like, like the thing that the thing that's so interesting and exciting to me is it's like four, four people who had an idea, who had a vision, and they're like, we want to build this thing. And then with technology tools, you know, the, the mechanisms that we kind of previously talked about, being able to kind of crowdsource and find other interested people that want to be part of this community and want to bring this to life, that that a, a, a game with this level of kind of quality and graphics, and obviously it's going to be in iterations, like we're all eyes wide open that, that for this to see its full glory, it's going to be eight years, it's going to be like, a decade for Ryan. He's gonna have like five more kids. I oh, know, I know, I know. But like, yes, but know. like, I'm how beautiful! Out a by the time that it's ready. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But like, but you know, as someone who grew up gaming and loves gaming and loves this idea of being able to live the life that I've always wanted to live, that might not physically be feasible, right? You know, that scares a people. I mean, I'm just so that that is what I think excites me the most about it. Is like, it's wow. not about Web two versus Web wow. three gaming. It's like that the enthusiasts. I Justin, you and I were kind of touching upon this, yeah. so like. How do, you know, like how do the fans who are, who are oftentimes more passionate and ravenous about these IPs and these worlds, like how do they get involved? How do they have like a, a say, a contribution? And this is just to me, a really great example of that playing out in real time, albeit early, of individuals that as, as Pablo said, and you can iterate more on this Pablo, is that, you know, you guys kind of like planted the seed letting it take shape and like ideally right you guys are kind of separating yourself from the project because you want the project to live on its own like star wars lives on its own or star trek lives on its own like minus obviously the the kind of um i think jesse might have called it the evil overlords oh. um that are like disney <laughs> and never that like control and try and you know like disney you know, is never <laughs> sponsoring play economy watch out <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe they will Who knows? Here we go. Here we go. Worry. shots fired shots fired <laughs> <laughs> but but that's my that's my musing right is that is that it's again it's not about like you know web team two versus web three gaming it's about a different way where the publishers don't own everything and god forbid you create fan fiction or right. an app that mm. that it, it functions Sounds better than like the main time. app yeah but you have we have the freedom look like I, I i think that i i grew up with star wars um, I, I went to Disney. I, I took my both my kids to Disney World on their first birthday. Did they know what was happening? No. I, I you know I just wanted to see them. <laughs> this was smile, for me. You know? did it for you. It for you me. did it for you. I, I'm not gonna lie. It was for me. <laughs> right. Your time here. This is for it, me. I, and I loved it. I mean, I, I loved it. I love watching them. But why, why do I love it? Because like, I get immersed in the story. I forget about everything that's going on, and I just like just like watching films. I just transcend into the storyline, right? Um, gaming oh, is a portal for can't this. Find it for that. You know, game, okay. gaming allows for people to be entertained, 
and 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 to enter this world um what they get out of it and how they you know uh, sort of share this world with other people that's really up to them and how much they love it um today we're talking about gaming we're flying ships we're talking about the the, the you know the factions and the wars that are going to happen in the future but what really excites me also is getting the next time we do this hopefully at some point in the future you know you get off the ship and we go see a concert you know and and we're still hanging out doing something social we're going to the bar mm -hmm. and drinking right. you know and still talking um so it's it's finding that balance between having those experiences and a lot of people call that the future of the internet um you see the big brands all over the world that um you know that that have dressed us for a long time have uh, designed our homes and the things that we buy and the drive the cars that we drive so all of those companies those legacy uh you know uh, institutional companies they're looking to have a footprint in these spaces um it's up to us in the community to really you know stay true to the experiences that we want to have um but at the end of the day like yeah it, it's about having fun in this in, in this you know in this flight around space like I am we all laugh at some point we all <laughs> laugh today and like yeah. if, if anything good comes out of it like we had a good smile you know that's yeah. what gaming is about uh, if, if we, can we do a flyover of a future arena where you're you're looking to host metaverse events you have anything yeah yeah you have the shell of anything out there for us uh, absolutely so um again we we're building out central space stations um and Ooh. one of them uh, for the Oni Central Space Station, you can see a video of the modeling of this. Um, and yeah, we have stadiums there for sports, esports, uh, concerts, operas, shopping, um, you know, all types of sort of life experiences um, that are going to occur digitally. Um, that will happen in the safe zone. So there's three zones in, the, in these environments uh, the safe zone, um, the, the middle zone and the risk zone, the high see, risk I zone. I need a safe zone all the time. You know, you've yeah. seen my skill so far. It's just I need to feel comfortable. I need to feel padded. I need to feel secure. Yeah, we need that in real life, Pablo. We, we should have psychological a safety would be great. <laughs> the metaphors yeah. is great. everything to me. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> Fantastic. Now we're coming up on an hour here, so I don't want to keep you guys too late on uh, on a Monday of all days. Uh, but thank you guys for jumping in here. I'm just going to quit out now. Um, and uh stop from there we go so we can see all of our lovely faces again so uh this was this is i can't wait to actually spend some legitimate time uh to diving in and planning my flight school and so all the people out there if you have your flight school uh ryan day will be a customer very soon um this is uh, you were upside down a lot ryan. I know, you're good I know. you're good you're good <laughs> one day at a time right that's right yeah yeah i know <laughs> I check my watch like Tom Cruise, like oh, you know, like every time. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Um, but this is this has been a lot of fun. So, uh, you know, typical stuff. Where can people find you? What's happening in your world? Uh, where should people go? Subscribe, like, do all those those classic internet things that people ask at the ends of these things. Sure. So my home address is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the security number is fine. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Well, so what do you want? Well, what's your safe yeah. phrase though? My your keys. You know. <laughs> It's funny because we, I, I was, I was the person who went out, took the gaming laptop to Solana Spaces to test it oh, out and everything. Oh yeah. And, and and what's what's hilarious is that um, I get I get back home, I look at Twitter, and there's a someone in the community. They they might be watching. I don't know who they are, but they were there. They videotaped me doing the thing, and then they shared it. They're not. I don't know who they are on Twitter, but I follow them. They're very <laughs> hyper engaged in the community. They were yeah. there. I had no idea. I probably talked to them. It's it's wild. But um, anyways, look, you can find us at startless.com. But the 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 funnest sort of environment that a lot of us spend time in. We do town halls there. There's one happening um, this Friday. It is is uh, is Discord. So you can find us at Discord Star Atlas. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, uh, it's Pablo dot i kiroga that's p-a-b-l-o i q u i r o g a aka star sapa um sapa mm. is light uh light being um uh, and yeah you know we're we're very uh much in the front of of of, our, of the crowd we're very close with the community um 
sometimes we feel like we're too close uh, because, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's Never not always close. like, it's not always like, you know, beautiful, you know, roses all the time. You know, things get delayed. There's bugs here. There's that. There's a lot of frustration. It's, you guys you know, follow the markets, friends close, enemies markets. closer, obviously, with your community. That's that's the uh, but, the, the, the <laughs> look. <laughs> at, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, like there is nothing greater that we've been able to do than establish and and create this amusing, amazing community. Like there, there's nothing better than that. I, some of my, some of the art directors and you know, producers, my, and the engineers might be like, ah, well, what about this technology? And what about showroom? Look, real people um, with real passions and, and just wanting to see this succeed and being in there, like supporting us day in, day out is everything to us. So um, shout out to them. They're, they're the real, uh, you know, sort of uh, creators here. Uh, without yeah. them, this, this wouldn't exist. And because I haven't had another opportunity to do so, I'm going to play the air horn to that because that's what we do that there's there's just it's classic alpha air horn but there wasn't any i mean there was just a lot of awesome sweet gameplay tonight which is fantastic mm -hmm. so uh but a good air horn moment so thank you and then mm -hmm. justin for you i'll follow me at sensible on twitter i i've, I've mm. been on like uh i have the super short twitter name because i've been on there since the very very beginning pretty there much yeah i'm super old um <laughs> and of course there's benzinga and I'll shout out uh, Ship of Heroes, which is you can follow them at Ship of Heroes on Twitter because that's okay. the game I've been working on for the past six years. We don't have a team of 200. <laughs> we just need a little indie game. How long have okay. you been working on it, Pablo? How, how, and how, when are you going to go to full launch? Full launch. So we Ooh, hope to get to season zero, alpha. which is alive. Um, we hope to get there by 2024. Um, that is that is the, the roadmap to get to there. Um, you know, we have sound, amazing man. releases yeah. coming up this year. So, yeah, man, this is a, a marathon and we're going to have mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot of fun, you know, getting there. But before looks, before we get off, though, I, I'd love yeah. to get your feedback, Justin. Like, you know, you've spent a lot of time in this space. You've played mm -hmm. a lot of games. Yeah. You, you know, you all, you've poured a lot of sweat into into what you do. And, and so, yeah, I, I'd love to get your honest feedback, man, right in front of everyone else. Yeah, you know, I, I I think it looks awesome. I I have been. No, no, seriously, I, I love all the detail you put. I love all the detail into the in the Zen Garden, especially if you want it to work as a uh, as a um, metaverse space. Because you know, like the thing is, you don't want your metaverse to feel like a liminal space. That's the problem. So all that interactivity and heart you're putting into it, I love to see. And uh, like the main thing that I'm going to get on any Web three game about is, is if they don't have a game, and if they're six years out from a game. You know, but 2024 see, for, you know, open beta, you know, well, like we'll, we'll see, like if you can get to full launch in 2024, you guys are working super fast, but I love the detail. I love the style. It looks awesome. And, and I want to, I want to interview you. We should, we should talk. We'll do a feature. Clip it. That, awesome, I don't know man. if that's a thing that happens, but I, I feel like you're supposed to say that clip. It. Uh, Cause that was awesome. Uh, and, and Beck yeah. and Ryan, thank you so much for having me on the show. I pr of really course. appreciate it. I think the most important question of the night, though, Justin, is when does mm -hmm. the Web3 Dungeons & Dragons game uh, campaign kick <laughs> off? All right. Uh, we were talking about this a little bit on Twitter, but I literally... Yeah. Uh, to catch you up and why this is so important <laughs> is I have a three-year mm -hmm. campaign that I've been running as the Dungeon Master... Uh, and we have only done Zoom, and all of them are coming in person to North Carolina, which is where I am now, to do the final session, first in person, last in person, final session of a three-year campaign that's wrapping up. And then I'm just going to be sitting around twiddling my thumbs, figuring out what to do next. So we can do this. You know, we have yeah. to figure out a way. I was talking. I was talking to my uh, AD and D first edition nerds because I played oh. like the 1978 version. I never switched over to 5e. Uh, that that's too recent i'll have me. some learning and research i got to do but yes <laughs> the, the oldest copy of the game rule of the of the rules i have were literally photocopied and stapled now it was, <laughs> I, it was it was somebody else if i had to return them but i cherished them anyway um so no i like there there's got to be a way <laughs> to adapt the system to have it work uh, for spaces i just oh, don't yeah. know how yet. We'll but we're about to do one something really cool uh, on that space. Like I'm trying to come up with other cool things to do, and I think that that role playing would would really be one. 
you know? All right. But um, it, it's been great. And it's been great seeing your game, Pablo. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Thank, Thank you. you all so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, to everyone out there, make sure you subscribe to Playconomy. We're here every week. Next week, we are chatting with Guild of Guardians. So come check it out. It'll be a nice mobile game. We'll see how it goes. Um, and then... Uh, oh, wait, should we tell people wait. about East Denver? I no, think. Come on, don't, don't, don't. Well, you know. and Hacker, wait, Hack Week Miami. Well, so Hack, there's Hack Week in Solana. You can go play Star Atlas if you're around. Uh, yes. East Denver. We'll we'll let the we'll let the peeps know about East Denver. Okay. Let's, but let's if anyone's around on Wednesday, I'm doing a Star hey. Atlas or a panel with um, Solana Spaces. Uh, so I will be there on Wednesday yeah, in man. Miami. So if anyone's around, wow. yeah. And then East Denver, we can kind of talk about. But yes, Star right. Atlas we'll should be it. there. Mm. we're working on it uh yeah. well fantastic thanks everyone another wonderful episode of Playconomy in the books uh we love all of you each individually and equally unlike my children this has been great you all have a great night